Hey, what up my cruisers? This is the AZ Cruiser back at you. And in this episode, we're going to be going to Home Depot. Trying to get my uh, stealth camping set up in the back. All squared up. So we're going to go to Home Depot. Try to get some wood. I got the measurements already on my phone. So we'll go over there. And I'll take you guys along for the ride. Alright, let's go. AZ Cruiser out. So we made it guys, outside the Home Depot right now, about to go inside, try to get this wood, I'm gonna have a, try to, it's a budget setup guys, you know, if you look online, you see the drawers, most of them are a thousand, minimum plus, put in your, <clears throat> put in the back of your uh, Land Cruiser or any SUV really, so, this is like a budget build, you know, if you're on a budget like me or you don't want to spend $2,000, $1,000, $2,000, dollars right. $3,000 on a drawer system, then this might be the best option for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there, try to get some plywood. So let's go. So I just want to give a shout out to Penelope Cruiser 80 on Instagram. He's the one that gave me the idea for this build. So give him a follow on IG. Yeah, guys I got everything in here probably could have gone bigger I probably could have gone 50 probably could have gone 50 by 62 but 48 is all right it's a couple inches short on the side so I'm just probably gonna move those on the side right there I got extra wood so the leftover pieces I probably put one piece on that side one piece on that side just so it's snug yeah, two people are back there. If I'm back there by myself, I think I should be all right. So, there you go. It's my budget sleeping platform. I'm not done yet. Probably need some racks to put underneath it, or like some tubs, some plastic, you know, the yellow plastic tubs. Probably put those underneath, but that's how I was looking at right now. So, uh, what it looks like with the plastic yellow tubs in the back. So, all right. So it looks like in the back. Probably do need to do some other things. Um, there's still, still still a gap right here, but I mean, if you're gonna put a mattress over it, it's probably better like that. There you go. I mean, it's big enough for me. Pretty much takes up the whole back almost. 48 by 62. There you go. So, I look. so you're probably thinking, okay, I got the platform set up, but what am I going to put on top of it? Well, I got you covered. I got this Ohuhu, I think that's how you say it, sleeping bag, fits two people. It's uh, eco-friendly, super warm, high resilience, and has no odor compared to other brands. I got the link in the description. And uh, I'll probably be putting a piece of memory foam right underneath it, which I don't have right now, but I'm planning on getting it. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably make an update video and uh, maybe I'll be sleeping in one of these uh, builds. So check it out. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to tape all this duct tape. This is like cheap plywood and I don't want splinters. I don't want splinters when I'm sleeping. So put some tape up there and then uh, we'll see how it looks. All right. 
So this is how the board looks like halfway done. I'm using a lot of tape. So make sure you get a big roll. All right. Five hours later. What up guys? Whew, I'm sweating man, that's a hard workout. So I finished duct taping pretty much the entire top side. Bottom side I didn't. So I don't know if it's gonna hold up, we'll, we'll find out. But this is my setup right now. I got my Ninja Bat, which is right here. It's got still got 34% battery. I haven't charged this thing in like three months, four months, I think. Air compressor, let me turn my light on. Air compressor, got my pump back there, my amp. Some two by fours, Ninja Bat. Link in the description for this and that as well. Got a little cooler here case this is where I'm gonna put my camping stuff and then on this one we got I got my coolant and my oils if you guys see it but it's in there that's the hardest one to get into that's my emergency pretty much my emergency roadside kit oh crap that stuff in there. Um, see, I can get in here pretty easy. Just climb in the back. Ugh. I'm 5'7", by the way. Uh, I put my head all the way back here. Pretty much can fit in here. Even a room for one more person. So I'll probably do some uh, stealth camping videos in here. Only thing is this thing's kind of in the way, but you know, we need this for convenience. Got my uh, flexus up here. Shetty. Uh, I got a fan back here. Got some more reflectix. Yeah, I could have made this even longer, but eh, it's all right. To put a pillow back here, it'd be all right. Get a long pillow or something. But, so this is uh, 48 by 62. So I probably could have got <coughs> could have got 63. Probably would have still fit, but so you can get out pretty easily. There you go. That's my, uh, oh yeah, I got this. Link in the description of that too. E50 fire extinguisher. A little medic bag back there. I've got some wipes, some uh, disposable, uh, what's it called, compostable. It means you can throw it away in the, in the dirt. Uh, toilet paper. And then I got paper towels up there, some tools, wrench, uh, knife right there. So yeah, that's how it looks right now. Got my boards up here, shovel up there. So I just wanted to show you the before. This is when I had no platform back there and a subwoofer. And this is how it looks like now. Big difference, I think. And it looks way better and more organized. So yeah, that's, uh, that's my budget. Pretty much spent 70 bucks on the wood, I don't know, almost 80 bucks. She gave me a discount because she only charged me for one and she realized I had two pieces. So you could probably even do this with one, but if you did it with one, it might bend a little bit just because it's only like an inch, only like an inch thick. This is like an inch and a half right here. Oh, it's like half an inch thick. Well, this is like an inch and a half to two inches almost. So, um, that's it right there, I mean, budget build, so let me know what you think in the comments section. And uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Alright, Easy Cruiser out.